Now, as you may know, I do not have my PlayStation, so I'm just showing off all of my games. So, I hope this actually is worth it, and people, because I don't think anyone really cares what games I own, but, um, So, to begin with, I'm just going from games up all the way across. So, we have Alien Isolation from EB Games. Someone's obviously wrecked the case, so I don't have the actual case for it. Um, we have Dead by Daylight, Blair Witch, and Rock. You know, what? hold up, I'm just going to grab all the games. Here we are back in front of all familiar whiteboard. So, Dead by Daylight, Blair Witch, Rust. Grand Theft Auto, I had this since I got my PS4, one of the first five games I ever bought for it. This I have never played, another one which didn't come with the case, Killzone. Um, Battlefield 1. And then after this we have... The Witcher, like the really cool version of The Witcher 3, the um, one that comes with bonus content. I got a map with it, I think. Did I hear him? I'll quick see it. Yeah, so if anything did come with stuff like that, I'm not going to show it all like unfollowed, but I'll show it. Here, I got the map from The Witcher 3. It's folded up, but you can see location from it. Let's put that away. And, um... Oh, I didn't press pause in the video. Okay, um, sorry, that's going to be just a weird thing there, but, um, we have God of War, Homefront, The Revolution, and the Steelbook Kesson. Then we have Far Cry 4 Limited Edition, Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah. Which, those are all other games I have as well. Next up is Back for Blood, aka PlayStation's version of Left for Dead. Or should I say all consoles? I got the special <laughs> silver case for this. It's hard to pull out. Yeah, there we go. Left for Dead steel bookcase. It looks absolutely sick. I mean, look at that. My phone does not do it justice. That's the bag. It's just pure black. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's got buildings and zombies on it. That's sick. Of course, we have. That one's like that. Easily. There's an evil village. Get off. Village. There's a steel book for that. Pretty cool steel book. I really like this one. You know? 
I, I quite like the, uh, the Mega My Seat on the cover of it. Can you please go into your cardboard cover and not call it? Thank you. Okay, and then we have Resident Evil 7. As you will know, one of my top three tied for favorite game in the world. Because I think it is awesome. Horror comes home. Will you survive? Is what it says. I remember reading that at the shop, and I was like, "What does it mean? Horror comes home?" Because I forgot what Resident Evil was. Because, um, like I knew what it was, but I didn't realize that it was the seventh game in the series because it had nothing to do with zombies. Um, and here's. Resident Evil 4, because I bought this knowing it was Resident Evil, I actually bought it at the same time as Resident Evil 7, so um, I don't know how I got confused, but yeah, I got Resident Evil 4 at the same time, and although it is a good game, I must say, I the controls are a little wonky, it's kind of like they give it tank controls for third person. But it's still a great game. I played it for a couple of hours after I got it. And what I actually... N not a lot of... People do like it, but they don't love it. I actually really, really like this. I put a lot of hours into this Resident Evil. And I plan to get 100% achievement on it. Resident Evil 3 Remake. Which is, in my opinion, a really, really good Resident Evil game. A really good game in general. I wish it was... If it was first person, could actually... I would have liked it more than Resi Do Remake if it had first person mode. Or if it was just longer, I guess. But, um... Resident Evil Origins Collection. So that's Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 1. Which, by the way, if you're confused why I didn't say, like, Resident Evil 2, even though I've played it and blah blah blah. Uh, it is because... Any download games will be in a future video when I get my console back, because that will just make it easier, you know. Speaking of, we have Watch Dogs 2. I think this one will come as no surprise to anyone that I own the Watch Dogs games. Shut up, tablet. No one was talking to you. Um, this one, although I do much prefer the first game, it is a damn good game. I don't agree. You can like whatever game you like, but me personally, I really think that the first game was a lot better. But I love it. the second game is still really good. And shifting back over to my cupboard, we have. Wait a minute. How did I get over here so fast? Hmm. Well, anyway, we have the original Watch Dogs A and Z edition. Which none of my codes on it work, so I didn't get the white hacker outfit, it's the only DLC I'm missing. Anyway, next we have Five Nights at Freddy's Core Collection, which has Five Nights at Freddy's 1 through to Sister Location, aka. Um, the, uh, the complete versions of games from VR version, you know, I forget I was saying anything, but um, yeah, those are fun. Then we have Doom, which is personally, although the original Doom games are pretty cool, I haven't actually played them, I've just... Ooh. Yeah, I haven't actually played them. And then after watching them, I was kind of like, you know, I get why you like it, but I mean, Doom with... I've, I've seen Doom 3, by the way, and I... It's it's fine, but I don't, I don't think it should get all the hate it gets for trying to be a horror game, but it's not that bad. But this, in my opinion, best Doom game ever, except some, Eternal is pretty good. This, I don't know, it might be on the same level as Eternal, because... This multiplayer kind of let it down, you know, it's like, 
it's not an arena shooter, I'm pretty sure it has creative class or something like that. Then, Skyrim, the Elder Scrolls. When I bought this, I bought it pre-owned, and it had a crack in the bottom, which kind of sucks, you know? You don't, you don't want a crack in your games. Sorry if I'm holding the camera a bit weird. I'm not using a phone. Four out four, some would say, is the last good Fallout game, and some would say last good Bethesda game. Me personally, I like the, this game. I don't think it was their last good one. I think they had some some good ones. And um, for instance, Fallout seventy six. Of although a lot of people really hate this, I am included in people that didn't love it. I thought it was a good game, it just needed work, you know? If they just took Fallout 4 and made it multiplayer, and then, you know, gave it all really good stuff, that would have suited me, you know? It would have been like, oh yeah, this is what I wanted, but they didn't do it properly. Next, another game that wasn't, wasn't made by Bethesda, but it was published by them, made by Arcane Studios, Dishonored Definitive Edition, which, in my opinion, I really, really like Dishonored, more than I thought I would. I got Dishonored and I thought, I'm not going to like this game, and I played through it and I absolutely loved it. It was amazing, good enough for me to want to buy the second Dishonored game. I also bought, I bought all three of them, but download the third, so not included here. Dishonored 2, although not as good as the first game, I had a lot, a lot of fun on this too. More ways to kill people and stuff, which sounds bad coming out of some, saying that, but you get what I mean. And um, I need to change arms. Next, we have Black Ops, ignore it's in Dishonored's case, it's Black Ops 2. This Dishonored didn't work, I needed to buy a new one. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for the Xbox is a game I own, by the way. If you can't tell it's Black Ops 2, it's written there, it's written there, uh, it's written there, <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh, I got the hiccups. Call of Duty Ghost in the steelbook case. Call of Duty Ghost could have been better if it was done more like a Modern Warfare game than a mix between Black Ops and Modern Warfare. Because it just made the game so campy. And it's like, well, may as well just play Black Ops 2, you know? But ignoring that, because it was a okay Call of Duty, we got a Call of Duty I really love and most people hate. Advanced Warfare. I had so much fun playing Advanced Warfare. Like, you wouldn't believe how much fun I had on it. I think it might be one of my favourite Call of Duty campaigns there is. Don't judge me. Um, then, well, you probably wouldn't. You're here for horror games, not Call of Duty. Um, speaking of Call of Duty, Black Ops 3. This is one of my favourite steelbook cases because of this. That is sick. I mean, Soldier in the Front's cool, but like, look at that. It's gonna eat your soul. And he's holding a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Not really, I just think it looks like one. Infinite Warfare, another Call of Duty game people really hate and I really love. First Call of Duty I ever owned on my PlayStation. I had a, I had World at War, Modern Warfare 3 on the Nintendo Wii, you know. <coughs> Whoa, I choked on spit there. Um. Yeah, but I really like this one. Call of Duty World War II Steelbook, I guess. I need to hold this up higher. World War II, really good game. Not much more to say about it, though. Black Ops 4, the first Call of Duty I played year-round. First Call of Duty I had ever played online on my own console. And I, this is my favorite. Favorite Call of Duty on PS4, and that is a hundred percent honesty. I love the multiplayer in Black Ops. I hate the campy specialist, but I love everything else about it. If it had a campaign, 
I don't know. It may have been one of my top three Call of Duty games. You know? But, um, X, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Game came out. I didn't really like it. Game ended. I like it. Okay? <laughs> That's pretty much how it went for this game as well. Black Ops Cold War. Liked it in the beginning. Didn't like it in the middle. Really liked it at the end. I... Call of Duty I'm best at. Like... This is the only Call of Duty that I could actually, like, probably win a tournament in. Because I did. I won gunfight tournaments and nothing else. But I am in a... I got really high-ranking league play. Uh, Call of Duty Vanguard. The newest Call of Duty that is hated by the nation, but only liked by me. It's a running theme with Call of Duty and a lot of hated games, but you know how it is. Let's move all these out the way quickly. And now, here we are. Ah, yeah. the very back row of my PlayStation games. Also, uh, oh wait, well, I'll show you some games I have over here in a second. Well, let's quick look. Uh, special stuff for Black Ops Four. I forgot to show you. Well, you probably already saw. I uh, got PC games up here, but you know, and um, but these are the games that I barely. Touch, but I still like a lot of them. They're just, you know, the games I don't touch a lot. Um, I don't like this game. If you buy FIFA every year, are you aware that you're just buying, like, the same game with different people? Like, I think that the next FIFA game that releases should just be called FIFA, and they update that every year, you know, maybe graphic upgrade and stuff, because I know games can do that. Don't lie to me. Like, they can't rework the entire engine, but they can operate it slightly with updates. Um, Little Big Planet 3. Fun game. Had a lot of fun with friends. First game that me and my friends didn't play online, but, like, went to each other's house. I went to their house, and I went to mine, and had a boss. Um, not much to say about this game, except, you know, it's, like, meant to be a classic game on um, PlayStation. Has been Heroes, you know. Anyone knows that you're a cool person if you don't. Um, Lego. <laughs> I own a couple of Lego games, by the way. I have Wii games, but I won't trade Wii games. I don't play my Wii anymore. Um, Lego Jurassic World. Fun, fun, fun game. Lego Worlds. The f this is my opinion. The first Lego game that actually changed Lego games. Like, if you get what I mean, I'm not like, oh my god, I revolutionized Lego games. I'm more like, it's the first Lego game that was actually done differently. All the other ones, the biggest change that ever happened was they started talking and everything else was the same. This one was different and it was fun and it was so much goodness. I probably should have, it was good and so much fun. But, um, then, before I show you this one, I would like to say... Lego Movie 2 changing wasn't good. Lego World changing up was good because it's a whole different game experience. But Lego Movie 2 should not have changed the formula because that's not the type of Lego game it is. It should have stuck to more like this one. Lego Movie Video Game. Which I had on the Nintendo DS. And was also the first game that I figured out Nintendo DS Lego games. Oh my god, I'm shaking my arm so much. Let me sit down... Right here. If that works. I guess that works. No, it doesn't. Okay. Um. It's big brain time. There we go. Hey, and then you still see my whiteboard over there. Kind of look like my whiteboard at the moment if I were to. No, I don't. Anyway, good game. First game where I actually figured out Lego games on DS are different to PlayStations. I'll show these in a triple combo package. Minecraft. Everyone knows Minecraft. Don't need to explain this. Minecraft Story Mode, in my opinion, really good. Telltale did a nice job with putting Minecraft into an actual story story and not just kill the Ender Dragon, you know? Season 2, oh my gosh, you know, these games, I have to say, got me into story, I was only like, 12, 
when I got them. Um, I ex these, along with The Last of Us and stuff like that, were the games that got me into really liking the story for games, you know, because other games, you know, like Call of Duty, you play the campaign, it's like, oh, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, 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 cool, cool. But, um, you don't really get invested in the story after you've finished it. Like, you're invested in it during it, but not after you finish it. I, but other games like that, though, you get invested full way through. Next, the OG, not OG version, but OG game, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I mean, Crash Bandicoot's OG, this version of it isn't. That's what I was saying. The former PlayStation 1 and 2 exclusives now put on Xbox and computer, along with PlayStation. No, I'm just kidding. For some reason, they I got this game brand new, and they sticky taped the PG symbol on the outside. What the heck, man? What were you thinking? That, he's trying to destroy the world, whoever did that. Uh, Anthem. I'll just put that out of the way because if you, I'm doing this video because I want you to like say, oh, can you play this game when you get PlayStation back? You know, and no one's going to want to see Anthem. I think that game, like I didn't mind it, but I think that game is universally hated. Uh, Destiny. Um, here we go. Spider-Man. PS4 Spider-Man. I got this when it came out. I had a blast. It was a fun, fun game. It, like, I already liked Spider-Man after that game. I really, really liked Spider-Man. One of my... Tied with Batman is my favorite superhero. And then we got what was my, my favorite superhero video game ever. Infinite Second Son. Oh my god. It, it is so cool how... Like, I'm, other games have done the... I, even, I think some of the Infinite games did the whole, are you good or bad? But this game did it so well. And then, and no spoil, sp spoiler warning, but, um, for, I'll, when my finger goes down, spoiler's over. Um, it's so cool how, depending on your actions, you might, if you kill heaps and heaps of civilians, and then you, like, kill the last boss, the old lady you're trying to help is like, go away. I don't want a murderer here. And that's just really cool. But here we go with Agents of Mayhem, which is pretty much Saint.